Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing this nice fun Barbie inspired look. I wanted to do something different. Draw you guys in a little bit. Have something fun for y'all to watch. Um, I've always wanted to do a Barbie inspired look. I loved Barbies growing up so now I'm a life-size Barbie for you guys. If you guys want to learn this look so that way you can rock it or play with someone else's face you can watch until the end of this video and you will know exactly how to do this but you have to keep watching if you're not subscribed yet don't forget to subscribe and if you loved the video share it and comment if you have any questions about this tutorial at any time if you're not following me on social media my instagram is the real mimi and my snapchat is mimi cannon let's get right into it So first, I'm priming my skin using my um, Bare Minerals Original Foundation. And I already moisturized, so moisturizing is very important. Moisturize first and then go ahead and put your primer on. You want to go ahead and take some foundation and apply that evenly all over your face. I always put foundation on first and then I conceal. I did, it, I did concealer before first and I didn't really like the outcome, so I've been doing the foundation first lately and I like the way it comes out. Now we're applying concealer underneath of our eyes and we're just applying a small amount. We don't want to go too heavy because you don't want anything too heavy under your eye because it's a lot thinner underneath the eye. So we're going to do that and we're going to drag the excess amount on top of the lid which is going to help the eyeshadow stand out a little bit more. Now we're going to take some setting powder and I'm just going to use a disposable sponge and just go ahead and pat that right underneath the eye where we applied the concealer. Now we're going to go ahead and focus on eyebrows. We're just going to take our eyebrow pencil and brush the hairs upward and then just fill the brow in. Just make nice lines underneath. Next, we're going to take our eyebrow pomade and just start filling the brows in, starting in the center. And then slowly start to drag the product out towards the tail of the brow. Now we're not going to fade the inside of the brows in too much because we want them to look more like Barbie. So we're just going to let that look a little bit more harsh in the center. And then we're just going to take our concealer and start concealing underneath the brow and shape them nice and neatly. And then you just want to make sure that they're nice and even. So make sure you take a step back, look in the mirror and make sure that they're both nice and even at the top and bottom. Making these brows more thin than I normally do just because Barbie's eyebrows are not really thick. I love thick eyebrows but that's not the look we're going for. Next step we're just going to prime the eyelids with some white base. And you want to make sure that you pat it nice and evenly on both lids. Just continue to blend until it looks nice and seamless. Next, we're going to work on cutting the crease and we're going to take some black shadow and create a nice line.
Then we're just going to drag that line down towards the tear ducts of the eye. An eyeliner pencil will fit right in between the eyes a little bit better. Then we're just going to take some light pink eyeshadow and just go right above where we created the line. This will just create a guideline for us. Now this is the next tone we're going to use and we're just going to take that and blend out the black line that we created in nice circular motions. This will give that black line some color to it. And then you want to just slowly drag that pink in between towards the inner tear duct on both eyes. Now this crease is the most important part of this look because that's what gives the eyes more of a Barbie-like look. Now we're dipping back into that pink, the lighter pink that we used to create our guideline and we're just blending that purple, purple color that we used in with the light pink. Now we're just going to take the same concealer that we used to clean up under the brows and we're just going to clean up the lid. Any purple that might be on the lid, you want to just clean that up just a little bit. You don't need a lot. Now we're going to take our cream eyeshadow and we're just going to pat on the lid. Our main focus will be right underneath of the crease that we created. Next, we're taking our liquid eyeliner and we're going to create a wing, but this wing is going to be a little bit more thicker than usual. And our liquid liner will end near the tail of our crease that we created. Now we want to drag that liner in towards the tear duct area. And take some black eyeshadow and basically go over top of where we put the black liquid. This will just save you some product because we would we would have need to use a lot of that liquid eyeliner liquid. So the powder will kind of just take that place. We're just going to take the tip of the liquid brush and just flick up to create that nice sharp edge. And then I'm going to go ahead and create that same wing on the other eye. Now we're going to prepare the center of our lids for glitter using some eyelid primer. Now if you have a skinnier brush to use for the center that would be great that way it won't get on the crease or on um, the actual eyeliner that we created, it'll stay nice and centered. I'm actually using a more thicker brush. Um, I didn't have a smaller one, but if you do, that would be that would work a lot better. Now, the glitter that we're using doesn't have a lot of shimmer to it. It's um, a little bit more light. It's like a snow white, and it's just going to give the lid a nice, small shimmer to it. Now 
Now you definitely want to use a smaller brush to drag the glitter towards the tear duct because I was having a hard time dragging that down with that thick brush. So definitely use something smaller. Taking our foundation powder and applying that all over the face. Also patting the foundation into the face, that way it'll fill in the pores, giving you a nice smoother finish. Now you can take whatever bronzer you want to use and whatever brush you want to use for your cheeks and just create some warmth on the cheeks and around the forehead if you want. This will just warm up the face a little bit, but I'm just going to focus mainly on the cheeks just because Barbie's blush effect is more focused on the cheeks. And then we're just going to take our blush, which is a more pink. You want to take a more colorful pink, a pink that you wouldn't normally use because you want the difference between the blush and your skin tone to be a dramatic difference. We're going to highlight and contour, but our main focus will be on the nose for this look, not really on the cheek. Focusing on the tip of the nose and the cupid's bow of our lip. That's where the highlight will be focused on. And then you want to go ahead and take your favorite bronzer and go ahead and carve out the nose. I'm taking a nice clean brush and I'm basically just going to blend out any harsh lines that we got from um, carving out our nose. Next we're going to take our eyeliner pencil and just fill in the waterline. Now we're going to dip back into our magenta tone and basically place that on the outer part of the eye line. And we're not going to drag that into the tear duct, we're just going to focus right on the outer part of the eyes. Next, we're going to go ahead and apply our eyelashes. Now, you can take some tweezers if that'll be easier for you to apply, but I always use my fingers. I think they're small enough, um, but tweezers normally do get the job done a little bit better and a little bit faster. We're just going to go ahead and take our mascara and add that to the lashes. Basically blend the false lashes in with your real lashes to make them look a lot more natural. Now sometimes I do use two different mascaras and that's what I'm going to do now. Just because this mascara has more fluffier brush which separates the lashes a lot more. Makes them look a little bit more thicker at the bottom. And then add your Barbie pink lipstick. And that's it. Okay, everybody, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got all the information you needed. If you like this video, don't forget to like. 
Don't forget to subscribe and comment and let me know what you guys want to see next. I have um, a few new tutorials coming up. Also, if you didn't see my last two videos, I'll have them on the screen like right now. You should probably see them right now. You can click on either one and you can watch the previous ones. If you're not following me on Instagram, my Instagram is the real Mimi. My Snapchat is Mimi Cannon. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next video.